Well, guys, I've found a very interesting article here and some very interesting connections that I will show you after I've read you this article. Now, the article was published on Live Science on the 22nd of February 2013, and it's titled Bizarre Star-Shaped Gravity Waves Created. Star-shaped waves can form in vibrating tanks of liquid oil, researchers say. Learning more about such bizarre waves could shed light on counterparts that may exist elsewhere in nature, researchers added. Waves of all kinds often behave in an intuitively linear manner. For instance, a weight on a spring will bob up and down in a manner directly proportional to the force that the weight exerts on the spring. However, a number of strange waves can also form. They come from what is called non-linearity, in which a small or simple change results in a disproportionately large or complex effect. For instance, aspects of weather behave chaotically in a non-linear manner. The waves seen on the surface of water also behave in a non-linear manner, and bizarre Phenomenon can result, such as X and Y shaped ocean waves, or monstrously large freak waves that seem to come out of nowhere. Scientists have spotted similar nonlinear effects elsewhere in nature, such as with supercooled atoms or light travelling in fibre optics. To uncover new, remarkable nonlinear waves, scientists experimented with circular and rectangular tanks containing about two-fifths of an inch or one centimetre of silicon oil. Researchers placed the tanks on shakers to vibrate the fluid. Scientists then observed that the liquid contained gravity waves, oscillations due to gravity pulling downward and vibrations pushing upward. A new type of gravity wave eventually resulted which alternated in shape between stars and polygons. For instance, between a five-pointed star and a five-sided pentagon. The researchers could change the shapes of these stars and polygons by altering the strength and frequency of the vibrations. The gravity waves in the liquid interact in a non-linear manner, resonating and building in complexity somewhat like how a playground swing will climb higher from repeated pushes. This is the first time such non-linear resonant interactions have been seen with gravity waves. Intriguingly, the shapes of these waves did not depend on the form of the containers housing the fluid. It is generally accepted that the shape of the waves depends on the container shape, said researcher uh, Jean Rachenbach, a uh, physicist at the University of Nice Sophia Antipolis in France. The fact that the pattern shape is here, recovered independently of the container shape, is surprising, mysterious and stimulating. We have no clear explanation. This finding just emphasizes that the domain of highly nonlinear waves is still terra incognita or unknown territory. So how interesting that these gravity waves are creating this shape. And it gets more interesting when I show you where I have seen this shape before and how I have looked at this shape so many times trying to understand what they were trying to relay to us. So, this is an ancient Egyptian hieroglyph and we can see the shape of this star right here. Now I'll try and hopefully not lose too much resolution, but you can definitely see that there is a real correlation between this shape and this gravity wave. And 
and we see it here also. Now, what I find really interesting about this hieroglyph is that we have uh, Horus moving towards what looks like some type of portal or doorway, and we have once again these stars. Now, I find that really interesting. Could the ancient Egyptians know about gravity waves and know the effect of gravity waves on our planet? Perhaps gravity waves create some type of portal or some way of us accessing other dimensions or perhaps uh, being able to move beyond this physical reality. So I find that really interesting that that shape looks exactly like this ancient Egyptian hieroglyph. Now, the other interesting thing about gravity waves and why I am paying attention to this article and these shapes and how I'm finding that very interesting that the ancient Egyptians seem to have created this shape in their hieroglyphs is that we actually have a gravity wave that will be probably emanating from the galactic core mid-year. And this gravity wave is going to hit our planet. Scientists, and I'm talking flat earth scientists, have said that this gravity wave will hit our planet. But they're telling us that it's not going to do uh, anything to us. We probably won't even feel it and uh, blah, 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 blah. Now, this is a paper from the Cornell University. And this is basically describing to us how there is a cloud known as the G2 cloud that is currently moving towards the black hole at the galactic center. Okay, now I do not believe that we have a black hole in the galactic center because once again, we're looking at flat earth science instead of the correct model, which is the electric universe model. Now, I'm not sure what is at the core of our galaxy, but I know that we are already receiving energy from the galactic core. And when this G2 cloud intersects with this galactic core, we are also going to experience a gravity wave. And as I said, this is what scientists are actually saying. So I'm just trying to connect some dots here, guys, and I'm finding some pretty interesting correlations. But what I'll do is post all of the articles underneath the video and then you can check them out for yourself and you can come to your very own conclusions. Well, I'll leave it here, guys. And as always, peace out.